what is the ROI of social media and potentially other marketing tactics? Okay, this is a hard one because most people in the social media manager space don't actually know how to answer this. And that's okay because I was one of them and I get it. Uh, as somebody now who consults with people on this and who helps people understand and, and really get it, I can tell you that there is a way to quantify the ROI that is a lot simpler than I think other people will say. Now, granted, you can go to people who are ad specialists and they're like, spend $200 and then we'll get you $2,000, blah, blah, blah. We're not talking about that kind of stuff. We're talking about you as the referral-based business owner who's like, do I need to waste my time on this? And the question that I always ask my leads is, how are you currently staying in touch with your past clients, your referrers, the people that matter most to your business, people that you stumble upon that might be ideal clients? How are they remembering that you're an expert at what you do. And a lot of times these people look at me and they're like, shyly, uh, I, I'm not really doing that right now. And I'm like, hmm, do we have a problem here? I think so. So I frame it like this is that if you took that bucket of people and if you, and this is, has to be on you, this is not on me to tell you this. If you can count that there's money in that pool of people to pay you for whatever your thing is, or to be interested in your passion project or whatever your thing is, if you can trust that that's in there because you've done your homework and your research, then your job is now to engage these people and to show up to these people in a way where they remember you as the brilliant person that you are. So the way that I do it is a lot of times these people are, are on a list somewhere. Potentially you have their phone numbers. Maybe you have their emails already. Maybe they're like your LinkedIn connections passively, right? So if you're not putting out something that shows up to them as the genius at whatever your business is on LinkedIn, for example, if that's where your people are, then that's a missed moment. So put out information that blows their mind. And if they see it. And at the right time, they're now ready to raise their hand and say, hey, this person's a genius. They have all my answers for me. Now I can call them. And that way you don't have to hope that they're randomly going to remember you in six months when they need you. Uh, it's basically matching the right eyeballs to the right information on a consistent basis. And that can also be on postcards. It doesn't all have to be on the internet. Uh, it could be sending people a newsletter. There's a lot of ways to do it. But at minimum, that should be your starting point if you haven't done that already, especially if you're a word of mouth business. I see there's someone in my network who's got a fantastic network and she's putting out fine content that's actually kind of interesting, but could be so much better. So maybe I'm thinking about you if you're watching this. Anyway, I'll see you on the interwebs. Bye.